Hi guys, it's me Boo and Dad from Boog and Dad TV, and today we're going to be reviewing the Revenge of the Sith Arc, Arc 170, 170 Fighter. Fighter, yes, Starship. Um, this is one awesome Starship. As you can see, it come out uh, in the Revenge of the Sith line of. Um, uh, of uh, vehicles and action figures and this is one of my all-time favorite uh, Star Wars ships it is just so cool so we wanted to um, unbox it for you uh, which we kind of already did just to get everything out and put it all together but of course this is from uh, 19 no this is from I'm sorry 2005 so it's 15 years old uh, it's meant in the box or was <laughs> and we just took it out put everything together so it's 100% complete so if you were to Buy one of these. I think right now they're going for about um, uh, maybe what a hundred bucks or so plus shipping on eBay. Um, you know, with with mostly complete pieces. So it's still you know it's still fairly affordable if it's something you want to get. But again, more than likely with this kind of stuff, unless there's a re-release. Um, actually, if you look over there, um, the star. This is telling not about the video, but it'll just say that the Star Wars figures can um, that can walk over. And then, like, if, like, they had a war, um, between, uh, Marvel Legends and Star Wars, um, we actually have two of these, um, the other one could be a bridge to cross a, to, um, uh, to, uh, for a bridge, and they can just take down all the Marvel Legends very easily. Right, right, yes, I guess they could. All right, so, anyway, so back to this, so like I said, I, I forgot where I was there, but, um, uh, like I said, 2005, so about 15 years old, but you can get them on eBay, except for about 100 bucks. I think mostly complete, uh, maybe plus shipping or whatever. So it's probably a good time uh, if it's something you're interested in to pick it up uh, before you know it gets you know crazy, crazy expensive. So uh, and it's one of those things that um, that's kind of what me and Boo did uh, because that's one that we wanted to wanted to have uh, in our collection and didn't want to wait too too much longer because like i said unless there's a re-release uh they will um you know only go up in in value and you know eventually just pay a little more and more Ow. oh no we lost commander fox no it's not all commander right fox. so i'm going to yeah. show you the box right quick Death and then dead. we'll get to the <laughs> ship itself so here is the front of the box um i tell you what boo i'm doing this well, you go get us a tape measure because we need to give some dimensions on the ship so we can get an idea of what size it is so it's got the awesome uh, Revenge of the Sith packaging, uh, like everything in this line, lots of fire, lots of Mustafar. Um, this is uh, probably the, uh, in my opinion, the best movie in the prequel trilogy. You know, I did enjoy all of them. Um, I don't, I wasn't really a big hater on those. Uh, I thought they were all pretty, pretty good, to, to be honest. Um, no, I mean, nothing's going to be the original trilogy, of course. But yeah, for what they were, I thought they were really good. Definitely thought they were better than, uh, what is it we just got? seven eight and nine <laughs> so definitely we're better than those but anyway uh let's see so here it is in the back you kind of see what you're getting this is heavily frequent fe featured of course in revenge of the sith uh right there from the opening shot uh where you've got obi obi-wan and um and anakin in their starfighters which are here and here uh two other ones that me and bigger are also interested in picking up and again I've, I've kind of been keeping my eye on them on ebay and they are pretty uh they are pretty pretty reasonably priced. Actually, a lot cheaper than this guy because they're uh, nowhere near as big. All right, Boog is back with the tape measure. Um, and then, of course, if you look at the back of the box, it just gives you some of the awesome features that come with this ship. It has the uh, the extra flaps on the wings on both sides. So you have the main wing here. There's two flaps there, which we'll show you. Uh, it'll hold three stormtroopers. Kind of hard to tell from this angle, but you get two in the cockpit here, and you also got a rear cockpit with a gun back here that the gunner will sit in. Uh, you've got these big, huge guns here on the side, which these are really, really large. Uh, and they both shoot out projectile missiles, which Boog's been trying that out for the last hour or so. <laughs> I think he really likes that. <laughs> also has a feature in the bottom where um, you can pull out a, uh, a little handheld trigger uh, that kind of helps you when you're playing with it to fly it around. And also has a trigger on it you press, and it'll drop out some bombs. So uh, this thing's got some features. No electronics. Everything in it is just kind of mechanical. Um, but uh, And it doesn't come with any... Uh, figure, so I'll tell you that it shows them on the package. Uh, kind of would be a little misleading to think, oh, at least I get, at least I get the uh, the droid here, but no, you don't. Fortunately for us, we'd already bought him years ago, and matter of fact, we unboxed him not too long ago on a video here on the channel. So um, we'll get him out and show him to you again, though. But this is actually the uh, ship he goes in. So there's the end cap there. More awesome fire packaging. A year ago, we didn't get him a year ago. 
No, I mean we um I said we 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 just did the video like a week ago. Oh. I think is what I was trying well, to say. Well, actually, we have a new commander because Jeff died. <laughs> oh no. We're here, so we have a new commander. Commander this Jeff. Is, no, this is Commander Tom. Oh, all right. Commander Jeff is. So, Boot, will you bring up the uh the Arc 170 fighter? In ten years, I. Now we just have. Other than the droid in the back, it, which is actually the one that goes with the ship, we um we just kind of have some random random troopers stuck in there because we don't actually have a lot of the clone um the clone troopers. So we're gonna we're gonna try to work on that and uh we can find some good deals, get some more in our collection because we definitely uh, want them, especially now that we kind of dove into all these uh clone worn era ships here lately. Um, you probably can't tell that on the channel because we haven't haven't had a chance to do many reviews on them yet. But we are getting there. I think this is the first one, right, Boo? Of the ones we've gotten recently? Uh, no, I think that one and... We haven't done that one yet. Well, actually, yeah, this might be the first one. Yeah, I think did. this is the first one. So we got quite a quite a backlog here going that we're going to have to get to. So anyway, here she is in all our beauty, beauty and mint. Arc A170. Make sure not to kill another commander. I'm trying to pull back so you can seven. see. <laughs> right, that's her from the front side view there all right turn around this way kind of see her from that side like so these guns here on the ends are just huge and this is the actual part that shoots uh when you press the button and of course we put ours together uh 15 years old but it's been in the box the whole time so she um fires everything works pretty good on it I thought. and it does come in with instructions and this really cool book yeah the, the book kind of shows some of the stuff they were selling back back in the day in the era there 15 years ago uh, your gunner would go your rear gunner goes here you can kind of see our guy that's in there and he controls this gun here uh, to kind of protect the uh, the back of the ship as they're in battle I'm gonna slide him over because he's before Boo's giving you a nice look at the book there I'm gonna flip up these little wings and guys you can't you can pause you can pause the video to see them if, if you would like Now, I'm not sure that these flaps had any kind of real functionality, but, um, I mean, I don't know, maybe it did help in flight or something, but I can definitely tell you that it certainly uh, makes the ship look cool. And I'll turn it around now so you can see them. And it's all manual. You just pop them out, and now you can see that they're all out. <laughs> kind of gives it a bit of a, I guess when they're out, gives it a bit of an X-Wing look, I think. What do you think, babe? Oh, he's bringing in our second one here. Uh, this one here is, um, it's in good shape, but it's missing a lot of pieces. Um, well, actually, but, well, actually, this one, it does have the stickers. We didn't put the stickers on this one. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of stickers because sooner or later, no matter how hard you work putting them on, they are going to fall off and get crusty and nasty and old. And so I don't really put many stickers on. But this one does have the stickers, so Boo can show you that. Um, you can kind of see what it looks like with the stickers. And they've actually held up pretty well. One here on the nose, which looks really rough. And, and like I said, this is complete, and it's in good shape. The only issue with it, it is that, <clears throat> yeah, he's missing the large guns here on the end. And unfortunately for this ship, that is a really big deal. Usually if it's something that's missing a gun or two, it's not too big of a deal. But with this guy, I mean, it looks 110% better with these big gunners. Don't and you think, Boog? Yeah, and by the way, it does Oh, shoot. and Boog has just shot the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Boog, that was brand new. <sighs> Can't have anything nice. But yeah, like I said, you can see the flaps here. Like I said, they, they just kind of pop up and go into place. But they're... Uh, <laughs> they, they, they're really, really cool looking. And yeah, I think I know what Boog's about to do here. <laughs> Watch your eyes out there in YouTube land. Oh, there it goes. All right. So, and you can see it's just the very tips that come out. Why don't you grab one, Boog, and show them what it looks like now that you've shot them? <laughs> yeah. And then I'll show you how to just press these just back. Just kind of in. like a mallet a little bit. Yeah. And then these go back down just like that. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. So we've kind of gotten through. I'm going to turn it to the side, open up the cockpit here. Let's see if you can see down in it. 
Now, as as pretty much par for the course, let me fix my little light so you can see the cockpit area. Maybe a little bit. Figures are in there, but it's very bland. There's not a whole lot going on down there. Pretty much have um, uh, your seats, and there is room for some stickers. I'm going to get Boog to show you the one here because it already has the stickers on it. And there's nobody sitting in it, so you can actually see in there. Oops. We'll pop that back up there, Boog. There we go. Maybe hold it to the side. I think that would work better. Hold it to the side. And get it closer to the camera. All right, now I'll get the light on it. There you go. So that gives you a good look. This is what it looks like with the stickers. Just got a little bit of computer screens here and up here. But other than that, you've got some dark gray plastic, and it is about it. Pretty bland. But that's okay. The rest of the ship is awesome. But actually, now let's do it. Let's do it. So let's say that, um, that, um, Com Commander, um, Commander Jeff is playing here. We're trying to get a, some, uh, um, a, a tan. Okay. And this ship just comes over here. He's on the beach, huh? All right. Well, why don't, why don't you let me talk about the feature before you before you go and, and use yeah. it? All right. So let me kind of give you a shot here of the. Uh, actually, I was on the the rear cockpit. But before I get there, we'll go ahead and go over the joy. This is what's his name, Boog? R4D9. R4D9. G9. Uh, G9. G9. Okay, sorry. R4G9. Uh, like I say, he doesn't come with it, but this is the droid that you would want to go with this ship um, sold separately. Like I said, me and Boog just lucked out and happened to have him in our collection, and we actually opened and reviewed him not too long ago. But uh, if you notice on the packaging, he's the one that shows, they show on the packaging, and um, this is his little cockpit area here. And of course, he just slides right in, and he's ready to go to work. Now back here in the back, you have uh, a, you want to put your thin stormtrooper back here because there's not a lot of room. So we use this little scrawny guy here, and he's actually not even a clone trooper. He's I don't remember stormtrooper of some sort, but I don't remember where. But he fits back here good, so we like it. But yeah, he just sits back in there. You just got the one single little seat, and he controls this gunner here, and it's got all kinds of directional control. Um, Including up and down, which is kind of nice. No, Protects the back. Now can we do... Can, now can we... Almost. And then, of course, here's a good look at the back of the ship. And now let's do the underbelly. Which has... Almost set it up. Which does... Have, which actually... Like this. Is where one of the most coolest parts of the ship does, um, is. You think so? So you've got the two flaps here. Oh, a little bit of detail in here. The two big engines which I love. And in this compartment here, we have um, something that's really cool. Uh, helps a lot when you're having your, your play battles. Open, just open those two up, and you're going to pull down on this, and you've got you a nice little handle. But it's not just for that. So that makes it really, really convenient for your vroom, vroom, vroom. It's not right, only boo? for that. Now, the handle has a trigger. Which it does. And Boo's going to demonstrate here on Commander Jeff. Jeff. That's some baby. <laughs> so you're cruising along. You decide you need to drop a few bombs. <laughs> uh, press the trigger, Boo. Oh! <laughs> Death and missed. the payload comes out. Now, it comes out of this little compartment here. And like you said, you're basically just pressing this trigger. It releases a latch, opens that up, and your two bombs just fall out. And chances are they'll probably get lost because <laughs> they're black and they're small. Yeah, I just said them. <laughs> All right, Boo, can you reload Reload ours? It does hold both of them. Yeah, it does hold both of them that you get with the ship. They're in safe and sound. But again, like I said, I'm going to show you this trigger because I just think it's it's a, the handle's a really, really genius idea um, for play. So, yeah, he is ready for action. And like I said, this whole ship is just is just awesome. He is ready uh, really to kick some droid butt, right, Boog? Yeah. Um, all right, so back to the bottom. There's just a couple other things I was going to talk about, and we will be done with this review, but that just folds back down in there. Close these up. Uh, it has one piece of landing gear. I guess because the way it's shaped, you don't really need it, but it's this little section here, and you kind of just pull down on it, and that's about it. It kind of pops into place just a little bit like that, and just kind of, I guess, 
uh, evens things out when it's sitting on the shelf or, or whatever. It's not actually really even necessary, but that's what that does. So we'll put him back in there. And I think, like I said, there's no electronics on this one, uh, no fancy sounds, but I think that will um, pretty much wrap up our review for the ARC um, 170. We're a big fan of it. Love it. Highly recommend if it's not in your collection. If you're interested in it, pick it up now while it's still, you know, somewhat affordable um, before prices get too out of hand. You just never know with Hasbro. They could remake this or they could never revisit it. You just, just don't know. Um, oh, I want to say, too, these guns, too, they do swivel. They kind of go back and forth, which are really cool. Yep. Like that. So, man, they've got a lot of range of action. I swiveled mine too much. It popped off. <laughs> get back on there. Good All right, well, we'll do that later. Good Anything on. else to add, Boog, about it? Nope. Okay, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Boog and Dad TV for some more awesome toy fun. Bye. Right. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.